So thanks to the guys at Tottenham Fan TV for asking me to come on, give you guys a little bit of what you can expect from Joe Rodon. And let me tell you, before I actually get into it, you've got yourself a cracking player on your hands. So the first question you boys asked me was, how highly do I rate Joe Rodon? Now, I rate Joe Rodon highly. I reckon he's our best player ahead of the likes of Andre, who's got Premier League experience. Uh, you know, we've seen Ben Godfrey go to Everton for around 25 million. You guys picked Joe Rodon up for 11 million, plus 4 million an add-on. So that's really good business for you, you know. I've seen a lot of Tottenham fans say you got levied and stuff like that so you know we all know Daniel Levy's a tough businessman and you know he gets what he wants and our owners um you guys won't really know but they always you know bulge and we got rid of Trevor Birch to you guys and I think if it was Trevor Birch at the club we would have got a lot lot more money for him but you've got to give credit to Trevor Birch, Jose Mourinho or whoever scouted Joe Rodon because he's a really good player really good the ball of his feet wins most things in the air in February he played Fulham away and he boss Alexander Mitrovic I know Mitrovic scored in the end but he wasn't Joe Rodon's man so he bossed Mitrovic and you know he bossed the championship last season the only little concern I've got with Joe Rodon is um, the last two seasons he's played for us well the last two seasons he's really been in senior football he has picked up two key injuries in both seasons which has kept him out for about three to four months so I think that's could that could be why the price has gone down a little bit due to his injury prone but fingers crossed he does very well for you Joe Rodon's best attributes. I'd probably say Joe Rodon's best attributes are on the floor, playing from out from the back and winning balls in the air. Um, playing from the back, you know, in his first season with us, he was making a lot of mistakes. But in the second season, last season, he grew a lot and did make many mistakes. He got in a lot of Team of the Weeks last season. Uh, he played international football, made his debut last season for Wales, and now he's a regular playing with Chris Mepham and Ben Davis and Gareth Bale. Obviously, you all know them too, especially. So, you know, Joe Rodon on the ball is really good in the air. He's really good. I think he's about six foot three uh, tall. So he's not the smallest of defenders, quite tall, very quick, by the way, for a tall centre half. He can recover very well. And like I was saying, you've got you've got an excellent player. I think the only you know, the only fault in Joe Roden's game I'd probably say is scoring. And that's not much of a concern because he's a defender, but he's not scored a goal for us in two seasons. And literally, guys, I'm only saying he can't score because everything else he does defensively is really good. Obviously it's gonna be a huge step to the Premier League from the championship. We've seen Daniel James not do it so far. Well saying that Daniel James has six, seven assists last season. We've seen Ollie McBurney go to the uh, Premier League as well from us. So hopefully Joe Roden can make the step up. Hopefully you guys give him a lot of time unlike Manchester United fans with Dan James Obviously, we all know Man United fans have gone down his back very quickly. So, you've got to play Joe Roden in the right position, the right centre half position. You've got to give him time. You could make some mistakes. But, like I was saying, I think you guys will give him time because you have had a lot of youngsters in your team recently and coming through the team before, like Daly Ali. You give him time. Obviously, he's not doing as well now, but you did give him some time. So, fingers crossed for Swansea's sake and Wales's sake that Joe Roden does really good for Tottenham Hotspur. Have Tottenham got a good deal? I think you've got a brilliant deal. I think Joe Roden should be going for about the twenty-five million pound mark between twenty and twenty-five million. We was holding out all summer for between eighteen and twenty million on the final day. We just let him go for eleven. So I think it shows our ownership, really. But I don't think you guys really care about our ownership. But uh, it just shows how good business you've done this summer. You've done some really good business. You know, great Joe Hart, the free transfer, all the experience he has. You got some great players: Endon, Bailey, Son, Kane, Bale. That front three will be frightening. And you know, with Jose Mourinho always this thing touted with um, he doesn't really do well with youngsters but I just think that's a load of rubbish personally I think he will give him time I think he could be on the bench of the first few games and maybe partner Eric Dyer, Davison Sanchez uh, Torby Alderweireld I, I don't know but Joe Rodon I think he will bring into your team in the second half of the season anyway last question will he be a success I think Joe Rodon will be a big success for Tottenham and I do think in the next four to five years he'll still be at Tottenham and he'll be wanted by the likes of Manchester City Manchester United and possibly the likes of Juventus as well um, I know it could seem a bit biased but I'm telling you guys you Tottenham fans you've got a great deal in your hands he's a really good defender just give him some time but I'm telling you on the ball he's one of the best centre-halves in the championship I'm absolutely gutted to see him leave you know, we used to say our good players, you know, we had Gilfie from you, we you give we give you Ben Davis, we give you Vorm, and you give us Sigurdsson, which was a great deal, thanks to Sigurdsson, but he's gone now. But now I do like Tottenham, uh best club in North London, I'm not just saying Axon on your channel, but you know, Swansea and Tottenham have a decent relationship, obviously giving you Trevor Burt as well. Can you stop taking all our best assets, please? But thanks for having me on Tottenham Fan TV, really appreciate that. If you want to subscribe to my channel, guys, Swans Swans away days, I do uh, watch logs, I do vlogs. Um thankfully I don't do Tottenham, Swans if you thought on vlogs anymore because you always seem to beat us but if you want to come out and watch some Swansea content that would be appreciated so, so thanks lads for getting me on and best luck for the season good luck to Joe Rodon Ben Davis and Gareth Bale and keep them fit for the Euros thanks lads <laughs>